So what is an oil catch can? Do you need one in your engine? Why do people fit oil catch cans? And what are the advantages to these little devices that seem very, very simple in their operation, but a lot of drivers will absolutely swear by them and always make sure they have one fitted to their new car whenever they get one. So in this video, we're gonna look at oil catch cans, what they are, why you particularly need one, especially if you've got a direct injection engine. We're gonna look at the typical problems that you have from an engine that doesn't have an oil catch can. And we're going to look at a disadvantage of having an oil catch can which perhaps answers the question as to why a lot of manufacturers do not fit catch cans as standard when you buy your car <laughs> So an oil catch can, also referred to in some areas as an oil catch tank or a crank case breather tank, is basically a device that's used to separate the oil vapour that builds up inside the crankcase from the crankcase ventilation system. So pressure builds up inside the engine due to the combustion process. There's a lot of reasons why you get pressure inside the crankcase itself. There's a little device called the positive crankcase ventilation system, which makes sure that pressure doesn't build up because if it does, you're going to start to have oil leaks all over the engine it's going to start breaking seals and you're going to have all sorts of problems with the smooth running and operation of your engine so the PCV is quite essential but it can't dump those crankcase fumes into the atmosphere because that would be harmful and detrimental to the environment so what manufacturers do is they vent those gases to the intake stream where those gases re-enter the engine and this time they go through the combustion process and they're burnt off now the problem you have is that these deposits start to build up on the valves and if you've got a direct injection engine there's no fuel being squirted onto the valves to keep them clean and eventually that will just embed itself on the valves and you'll start to have a carbon build-up issue. So what is the oil catch can? Well it's quite simply a canister that goes between the crankcase and the intake of the engine and it separates out those gases that you would get from the crankcase itself. So all of the fluids, the oil, the vapours that build up will be collected in that catch can. The fairly clean air will now go back into the intake where it can be harmlessly burnt off and it won't be causing such a big problem with deposits building up on the valves of the engine. Now interestingly and it certainly surprised me I expected the oil catch can to just catch oil but if you look carefully you'll notice that it's nothing like a consistency of oil it actually contains a lot more water and if you were to break this down you'd, you'd see lots of other harmful substances being embedded within that fluid that is collected particularly due to the acids that build up due to the combustion process and various other nasties going on in the engine so so far so good having that oil catch can make sure that only clean air enters the intake and you're not soiling the valve does it completely prevent carbon buildup on direct injection engines well it does go substantially a long way to preventing that but if your car has got an exhaust gas recirculation system that is still potentially a cause for carbon buildup and even the best positive crankcase ventilation system will not catch 100% of all of the vapors that are being vented you'll see a very small amount of carbon starting to build up on those intake valves even when you've got the catch can installed but overall it's a bit of a no-brainer if you've got direct injection you will see benefits from fitting an oil catch can some people have actually said that even without cleaning the valves the state of the valves has been improved probably due to the heat buildup in the engine and the fact that you're not adding to that embedded carbon on the valves as much as you would be if you didn't have the catch can installed. It's not just the benefit you see on the intake side of the engine with a reduction in carbon buildup. The overall quality of the oil in the engine is much greater. You've generally separated out a lot of the harmful components that have built up the blow by gases, the acids and other vapors that are building up inside the crankcase and they've now been separated out from the oil. But in a lot of cases you will see improved engine engine life and the oil life will be much extended just by having an oil catch can. So why don't manufacturers fit them? Well the catch can itself has to be emptied there's a maintenance requirement there and it's pretty hard for manufacturers to get people to check the oil and check the tire pressures if people were required to empty a catch can that would be a step too far for a lot of lazy owners out there now if you don't empty the oil catch can it's basically just going to fill up with fluid and that fluid is eventually going to start dribbling back into the engine or going into the intake so you'll be completely negating the whole point of having that catch can in the first place now the frequency with which you have to empty it. it depends a lot 
on your driving style, the type of engine you've got and how many miles you're doing. So some owners get away with just emptying the catch can every month or so. Some owners have to do it every day or every few days. It just really does depend on how much you use the car and how much is being dumped into the catch can within that period of time. So when you first install it, keep an eye on it daily, check the levels. They usually come with some kind of dipstick mechanism so you can see how the levels are building up inside the catch can itself. And you will get a feel for how regularly you need to do it, but you do need to empty it. Now, emptying it can be a bit of a pain. Some of these are bolted into the engine bay and you need to undo the bolts in order to remove it. The better ones just have a screw system where the bulk of the canister that is the reservoir that contains the oil and the other sediments can just be detached and emptied out quite easily and quite cleanly. So you'll generally find that the more expensive models are more easy to empty and more easy to maintain and the cheaper ones tend to require a lot more work and a lot more effort to empty out and clean out. So you really do get what you pay for when it comes to oil catch cans. So how easy is it to fit a catch can in your engine? Well, it is very, very easy. You pretty much in most cases just need to drill a couple of holes to attach it. And the pipe work is just a matter of taking the crankcase ventilation pipe and splitting that and making sure some of that goes into the input of the catch can and the output is then connected to the intake of the engine. With some engines, you've got a lot of stuff going on in that engine bay area, so you may need to relocate components. Now most people will look at downsizing the washer bottle reservoir. That's obviously one of the major things taking up a lot of space in that engine bay. You could also relocate the battery to the rear of the car. I've seen people do that quite effectively. And in a lot of engines you do still have quite a bit of space so you can site it fairly easily inside the engine bay. Now avoid those hot areas. Avoid the exhaust areas and the turbo area where a lot of heat is going to build up. The catch can is capturing a lot of flammable materials, a lot of oil. So you can create nasty situations. If some of those pipes started to leak onto those hot surfaces, you can inadvertently cause a fire risk. So we would certainly want you to avoid that and stay safe when you're fitting an oil catch can to your engine bay. They're relatively easy to fit. In most cases, they require very, very simple tools and a little bit of pipe work, which in most situations, it just involves cutting a pipe and then inserting a catch can and maybe adding another pipe from that. It does depend very much on the engine you've got. So please let us know in the comments if you've got an oil catch can or if it's something you're considering. It depends on the way the car is used as well. So cars used in a motorsport environment will generally suffer a lot more from oil vapours and blow-by gases due to the extra wear and tear and the extra stresses that the engine is going through. And a car that's driven very gently for long distances on highways, freeways and motorways will generally see less benefit because everything is relatively clean. You're not getting as much blow-by, you're not getting as much oil vapour in that crankcase as well. So it's very much down to the engine and the sort of use that the car is being put to. But please let me know in the comments your experiences with oil catch cans, whether you think it's a good mod. If you've got any brands that you found were particularly easy to fit or very, very cost effective, let us know and let's get the information out there, sharing it with all the people that watch these videos and people that come to our site reading our articles. So I really hope this video has been useful to you. It's flagged up another of those mods that people talk about, but you don't really ever get to understand why why they're a good idea, why you need one, and the benefits and even the disadvantages of having these mods installed in your car. So please subscribe to the channel. We would love you to stay tuned. We've got lots more content coming up to help you to identify the mods that are best for you, for your car, and for how you're going to use it, just to enable you to get the maximum performance from your car. Please boot that like button because that really does help us to get out there. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in this next video that I've lined up for you.